Bitcoin holds above $61,000, Ether stays below $3,500. Coinbase and payment processor Stripe form partnership for onboarding. CleanSpark acquires Grid for $155 million stock transaction. T-Rex Group files for 2x long inverse microstrategy ETF. Crypto losses from hacks and scams soared by 113% in quarter 2 2024 to reach $572 million. Hello and welcome to 3 TV. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets or VDA markets were trading mixed ahead of the release of US first quarter GDP data, durable goods for May and a weekly jobless report scheduled later in the day. Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market cap, was trading near $61,000. Vishakha Thakur joins us to tell us how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. The IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading up by 1% at 79,200 points. Meanwhile, consensus is fast building. The demand for US-based spot Ether ETFs may not be as strong as for Bitcoin ETFs. On Wednesday, Galaxy Research said the ETFs once approved could see $1 billion of net inflows a month. Furthermore, the US SEC might approve the latest tweaks about spot Ethereum ETFs by July 4 as discussions between asset managers and regulators reach their final stages. According to BitGet Research's most recent study, steep fake technology is causing a dramatic increase in Bitcoin losses, which are expected to top $25 billion next year. The research found a 245% increase in worldwide deep fakes this year alone. In quarter 1 2024, the cryptocurrency sector had a 217% rise in losses owing to deep fakes, reaching $6.3 billion. Interestingly, Wanek recently filed an application to launch a Spot Solana exchange traded fund, becoming the first asset manager to do so. According to the ETF application, Solana sold token out to be regarded as a commodity rather than a security as the Securities and Exchanges Commission has previously maintained. According to Wanex S1 firm, the proposed ETF would be known as the Wanex Solana Trust and the company will be responsible for safekeeping of the soul held within the ETF. The global crypto market cap was at $2.28 trillion mark, increasing 1% in the last 24 hours. The total trading volume increased by 9% to $61 billion. Moreover, cryptocurrency-based exchange-traded funds continue to be on the main stage in the US, with latest filing from Warwick taking into account the fifth largest digital asset, Solana. Shortly after the news broke, the native token's price shot up by 7% to $150. Separately, Fetch.ai is set to merge its Ocean Protocol and Singularity Net tokens into ASI, marking a significant milestone for the AI community. The initial phase of merger will see AGIX and Ocean Protocol's Ocean tokens merging into FET before transitioning to ASI. While well, US stock futures rose, as traders await closely followed inflation data. S&P 500 futures rose 0.2%, while Nasdaq 100 futures added 0.32%. Dow Jones Industrial Average futures dropped 0.03%. Bitcoin was trading at $61,470, up by 0.5%. While Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 1.4%, trading at $3,440. Binance's BNB token was up by 0.5% to trade at $576. Next on the list, Solana Sol was up 6% and was trading at $145. At the same time, Cardano's ADA token was up by 1.6% to trade at $0.38. Avalanche's AVAX was trading at $28.4, high by 6%. Polygon's Matic token was trading up by 3% to trade at $0.56. And Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading up by 3% at $0.12. While Shiba Inu was trading up by 1%, Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.12. $0.47 up by 1.5% and Polkadot was up by 7.3% to trade at $6.3. Thank you Vishaka for in-depth analysis of the global cryptocurrency market and now back to the headlines. Coinbase and Stripe have formed a partnership to bring fiat to crypto on ramps and off ramps for customers of both platforms according to a June 27th announcement. The new integration introduces support for USD coin on base as part of Stripe's crypto payouts, allowing faster cross-border remittances and settlements of fiat equivalents across 150 
sovereign countries. USDC will also be available as part of Stripe's Fiat 2 crypto on-ramp, facilitating easier onboarding for customers converting Fiat to digital assets. Conversely, Coinbase is integrating Stripe's Fiat to Crypto on-ramp to allow users of the payment processor to purchase crypto with credit cards and Apple Pay. Bitcoin miner CleanSpark has announced a merger with Grid Infrastructure in a $155 million transaction. According to an announcement on June 27, CleanSpark acquired all the issued and outstanding common stock of Grid in an all-stock transaction. Under the deal, CleanSpark will assume all of Grid's debts. It also entails an exclusive uh, hosting agreement allocating 20 megawatts of power to CleanSpark. In addition, CleanSpark has provided a $5 million working capital loan to Grid along with $50.9 million to settle immediate obligations. The deal is expected to add more than 400 megawatts of power to Clean Park over the next few years. TRX Group, the exchange traded funds issuer, has filed for an ETF that will take a 2x long position in Bitcoin heavy microstrategy. According to a filing published on the Securities and Exchange Commission's EDGR platform, the TRX 2x long MSTR daily target ETF aims to achieve 200% of microstrategy's daily performance. TREX also filed for an ETF that would take a 2x inverted position in MSTR. Effectively, both of these listed products would be a leveraged long or short on Bitcoin. MSTR, with its heavy exposure to Bitcoin, is known for its volatility as it tracks the world's largest digital asset. The stock's current implied volatility is high at 85.6, but trending lower than its recent average as Bitcoin's price remains. Stable. Crypto losses from hacks and scams more than doubled in the second quarter of 2024 compared to the same period the previous year, according to research from blockchain security platform Immunify. Over $572 million was lost in quarter 2 compared to only $220 million in quarter 2 of 2023. Centralized exchange hacks made up the bulk of the losses in the quarter. Prior to the second quarter, losses from hacks and scams had been declining, with Immunify reporting a 23% reduction in quarter 1. This decline continued through April and most of May, but losses dramatically increased by the end of May and June. The biggest single loss in the second quarter was from the May 31st private key hack of crypto exchange DMM, which drained $305 million worth of Bitcoin from the exchange. Now let's go to Shikha Singh to get an update on the buzzing coins of the day. Now let us have a look at the buzzing crypto watch list for today and the week ahead. First on the list, we have Tron. Tron has experienced significant growth in recent months with an average daily active address of 2.5 million, surpassing many top player in blockchains. The growth is reflected in the rise of daily transactions on the network and positive momentum in value capture metrics such as fees and revenue. However, TRX's performance in the decentralized finance space has faced challenges with a decline in total value lagged or, or logged over the last week. Despite these challenges, the overall network activity uh, and uh, increased transaction metrics are just a strong underlying foundation for future recovery and growth in the DeFi sector. Amidst these uh, developments, Tron has been a standard performer in the crypto market with a price increase exceeding 5% over the past week. As of the latest data, Tron is trading at approximately $0.12. Next on the list, we have WorldCoin. The WorldCoin Foundation has announced the recipient of its Wave 1 Community Grants program, which aims to support projects that enhance online trust and global economic access. 17 projects were awarded grants, including Parcaster Humanizer, Comet, Adora, Fuzzing Lab, and Saturday. Uh, Takio, uh, which has made progress in biometric template protection and secure del deletion of a WorldCoin's old iris code system, will further develop SMPC technology to enhance privacy protection for world ID verified users. Amid this development, WLE was trading at $2, up near 4% in the last 24 hours. Next on the list, we have Fetch.ai, also known as FET. Fetch.ai has announced its ASI token merger with Ocean Protocol and Singularity Net on July 1st. Despite initial excitement about uh, both uh, FET and AGIX prices have experienced significant downturns. FET is currently trading at $1.64, a 3.95% decrease over the previous day, uh, while Ocean Protocol's price fell by 3.1% to $0.6, and Singularity Net saw a 4.89% drop to $0.6. Despite these uh, price drops, FET's trading volume surged by over 36% within the last 24 hours, reaching $297.2 million. FET's market capitalization now stands at $1.3 billion, a 3.95% decrease. 
If the bearish trend continues, FBT may find support at a $1.06 level, analysts believe. Next on the list, we have Bonk. Bonk price surged by 9.9% in the last 24 hours uh, uh, during European business hours on Friday. This increase comes after Vanek filed for Solana ETF in the US claiming that the cryptocurrency was a commodity. Bonk being the largest meme coin on Solana reacted quickly to this news. The aggregated open interest for Bonk increased by 8.9% in the last 24 hours signaling investors taking positions in the asset. The 24 hour trading volume on Bonk uh, increased by 98% signaling an increase in investors' interest. The, uh, that revived interest in Bonk came uh, after Venek filed for Solana ETF, citing the cryptocurrency as a commodity. Next on the list, we have Solana. Solana's price has surged by over 10%, surpassing $145 resistance level and outperforming major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. The price peaked at $150 at 23.6% uptrend in the 7-day average price. The current trading position is above the $142 level and the under our simple moving average. A bullish trend line and support at $142 are forming on the early chart of the Solana USD pair, indicating robust buying interest. Solana's increase comes amid rumors of Solana ETF being launched. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. For more on such updates and market news, please log on to our website www.3 or scan the QR code.